Welcome back to the channel, guys. It has been a while. Brett Wheeler here, the diabetic cyclist. As you can read from the title, I am riding with a Libra 2 sensor, and I've tried it in a different location. Usually I run it in my arm, but today I tried it in my thigh. It's down here. I'll put a photo in now to show actually where it is. And I went out and wanted to try somewhere new because I've been using my arm for a while. But as any road cyclist knows, the arms aren't the biggest sort of place for these sensors to go. So I wanted to try somewhere new. And to be honest, it was a massive fail. When I'm sat around, even stood here, I'm getting notifications. But while I'm riding, nothing comes through. I don't know whether, obviously there's a lot of blood pumping around in the legs, but the sensor's not picking up the, the readings. But literally while I'm sat talking to you guys, I'm getting notifications every minute, which is how I have the Libra set up on the Sugar app. So for anyone who runs maybe, or anyone who does cycling or any sports that make their blood pumps, I don't think the legs are a very good place. If you're at work and you're sat around and that sort of thing, ideal, works perfectly. But while it's down here in the thigh, it's not connecting, it's not working while cycling. But if you're not an active person, by all means, try the leg. Um, I might try the chest next time. I've heard reports of people trying it there and it seems to work. Um, I'm gonna put up a photo of how my readings usually look, and then I'm gonna show you exactly how they looked in the ride. And you'll see there's big gaps between it. And as I'm riding, you know, I like to know exactly what my sugars are doing. And, you know, it's so helpful us knowing that, you know, what our bloods are doing while we're riding. Because if they go wrong while we're cycling, it's like a major bonk and, and it's not good. And, you know, I thought I'd put this up and that for cycling and the leg is a bit of a fail. Um, I'm hoping that it maybe is not a dud sensor because it's literally brand new. I put it in, I'm getting readings and, you know, it works. But the problem is when I'm riding... I don't know whether a little bit of wire that sits under the skin, you know, is moving a lot from the legs moving up and down and that sort of thing, where the arms, when we're riding, they're just, you know, solid. They don't move. So the blood not, might not be getting affected as much. So, you know, I wanted to put it out there, put it on YouTube, so that if anyone else who does cycling or running, you know, they, they can check out what else is on YouTube. You know, I thought I'd put this up, because I did a bit of searching and saw people using their thighs, but, you know, they want active people doing sports like road cycling and that sort of thing. So so hopefully this is a bit useful for anyone looking to use their thighs for a new placement. Again, by all means, please use it if you're just gonna be sort of sat around, you know, you work in the office, you know, I'm getting notifications every minute now while I'm still here talking. So yeah, there you go, guys. I, as a cyclist, it's not working. I'm gonna go back and get a new sensor from the pharmacy. Um, I'm gonna put one back in my arm Maybe in my chest, I'm not too sure. You know, I knock my chest quite a lot. Um, I got used to my arm, to be fair. Which it worked all the time while cycling, but it's just, you know, on the back, sometimes you knock it. So, so yeah, if you like that sort of thing, I'm gonna put a bit more out about my cycling and the diabetes, you know, what I eat, that sort of thing while going out for a ride in and my training, and also some of the races. So yeah, cheers guys, thank you.